Hey guys, welcome back. It's Chimney Swift here from the Minecraft Workbench community. And this is episode 46 of the Minecraft Files. And um, we're standing here at the uh, ever familiar awards wall. And I just got two more awards today. Uh, the first one is number 31, most subscribed this month. And also number four, most subscribed this month, directors. So, um, as always, thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you're a new subscriber, um, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, so we've had a big week. Um, actually, the update in, or quick announcement too reached um, 1,000 likes, and I uploaded the video, or the uh, save world file, excuse me. Um, I uploaded the save world file, and um, and hopefully you guys have taken a look at that. Uh, you can get it from uh, my website. There's a blog post that says save world file. Um, and you can download it straight from Mega Upload um, right to your computer and play it. So um, we're going to be taking a couple user requests today. Uh, today's kind of a slow day, a little tired. Uh, we are going to be coming out with a um, a video schedule soon. I'm going to. I've made 61 videos already, and um, I need to create some sort of an order. Um, as to when my videos come out, so expect that sometime soon. Uh, we won't be doing the uh, twice a night video uploads anymore. Um, I'm gonna have some sort of a set schedule for you guys. So um, if you like that idea, cool. If you don't like that idea, I'm sorry. I'm doing it anyway. I need sleep. Um, it's a, for those of you guys that are out there that don't know how much time these videos take. It takes a lot more than you think to do this stuff. So, um, it's, a, it's actually a lot of work. Um, but it's also a lot of fun and it's very rewarding. So, I really love doing this stuff for you guys. And um, I love taking user requests like I'm about to do right now. So, our first user request comes from OWiddleX. Um, and he wants me to show you how to build a shop. So, uh, let's build one right here. This is just going to be a very basic design on how to build a shop. And you can do this in a um, you can do it in a um, a single player uh, game. You can do it in a multiplayer game. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, but you do need uh you do need a, like two entryways. So one is for where they put the stuff in, one is where, where they receive their stuff. So this is going to be a very, very, very basic design. Almost dysfunctional, but it's it'll still work. Um, so we're basically just building up the walls here, like normal. Um, let's cut out the side here for some windows. I don't know if I have any glass or not, but there's one iron ingot in there. Alright, so we're gonna need some glass here. And as um hopefully as the world I build in this world, I will hopefully update the um save world file that I've uploaded. So you guys have the most current version uh, of things. And I, I, I might be doing that once a week. I might be doing that once every two weeks. Who knows? Um, basically, depends on the time that I have. Um, so just be patient. All right. So let's make this. Uh, we're waiting for the glass to cook. Let's actually make this three high. Don't think I'm gonna have enough. Nope. Um. Hmm. Do we have any cobblestone in here? No, we don't. I bet we got some in here. Or at least I hope we do. We do not. But let's just cheat anyway and use stone, two stone slabs. 
This two stone slabs, as we know, creates um, looks to be um, a block of cobblestone. So like that, you can't even tell the difference. All right, so let's um, kill a pig real fast. Hey guys, get some food. All right, and the glass should be done uh, cooking. And we're also gonna need a bucket for this. So let's um, take the glass and let's go place the glass where we need it. So we're going to put glass in front of the store here and then also on the side for side windows. Now uh, you do want to make a back entry into the store. Um, it's going to be your personal store. You're going to want to make um, an entry so that only you can get in and uh, also get out. Now you should probably put a door in there as well. Um, so let's create a, a um, workbench and make a door. Now we have a little store like this. Let's put some torches up in here. Alright. And we can put some out in the front too. Now, what we're going to do here is we need a bucket. Um, and the importance of a bucket, let me um, let's see here. Where's my, where's the bucket at? There it is. So, we're going to need to grab two pails of water. Um, and this is going to move your stuff when you trade. So if you get the water here, we're going to dig out two crevices inside or below the, um, the store. Now, um, what this is going to do is enable us to trade water with the water, or trade, not trade water, but trade your items with a water current. So what we're first going to do is we're going to make the um, the input uh, bay here. So this is the the place where people will come up and they toss their stuff in, and the water pushes it into the store to us. And then we get, put the other current on this side where we throw our items out, and it goes out to them. So what you're first going to do is you're going to take your water, and you're going to place the current like this. It's going to flow that way. And you're going to take you're going to go inside your store. And you're going to take your other water, your bucket of water, and you're going to place it on this side. So they're alternating. So now, um, so now we can um, we can successfully trade. So if I were to be a store buyer, toss my item in, and the water slowly pushes my item through to the other side. Now. Uh, unfortunately, I can run through this right now, so we got to close this off with some extra glass. Um, so let's see here. We got just enough, and we're gonna use glass here and here. Now we can successfully trade an item by throwing it in there. And if you're on a server and you have the ability uh, to do so, place um, these blocks that are down here underneath the water. Place ice. Ice will make um, this will make the item move like probably twice as fast um, as just normal normal material. Now um, you have to make sure though that you have uh, you don't have torches nearby um, because if you have torches nearby, it will melt the ice um, and it will cause some problems. Um, as in like a giant hole, maybe like that where your items are going to get stuck in and then you're going to have to jump all the way down and get them out. It's just going to be really annoying. Um, so make sure you don't have torches close enough 
to the ice to melt them. So, um, all right. So that's how you build a very basic store. You can expand this to any um, any size. Uh, you can make this little trade exchange inside, like as as you see in my um, in my store on the Minecraft Workbench server. Um, but it's pretty much up to you how you want to do it, and um, you know you have the freedom to do what you like. That's the nice thing about this game, is that uh, you can do whatever you want. So, all right, we're gonna sleep off this night real fast, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so we're back here, and we're gonna be taking our next request, and our next request comes from. Dance lover who wants me to build a bridge in front of my Pueblo. And they noticed that I walked um, around the water all the time right here. So they want me to build a bridge. So, what we're going to do is we're going to build a sand bridge this way, uh, straight across the water. So, now I have. I have a nice little area to walk walk through um, while still maintaining the beauty um, beauty of a uh, little bay area here so this is nice so I have the, the, the bay here that goes out to eventually goes out to sea over there um, and now I have completed my little bridge walkway. So thank you um, to O Whittle X and Dance Lover for sending in both of these uh, user requests, and um, we will be back with more Minecraft files very very soon. So thanks guys. Talk to you later.